Welcome to Assembly News Now. This is Multimedia Editor Jennifer Pierce, and here's what's happening with product assembly on April 1st. A vibratory bowl feeds caps in two sizes. A gripper does double duty on an engine assembly line. A mobile robot safely navigates crowds. And for our top story, Mercedes deploys humanoid robots on the assembly line. And finally, a robotic dog learns how to move through AI. These Assembly News Now stories after a brief message from our sponsor, Motion Index Drives, a leading manufacturer of rotary, linear, and multi-axis precision indexing devices. Motion Index Drives. Rotary index tables, precision link conveyors, weld positioning systems, tool tray shuttles, robot transfer units, and much more through your customized specifications. Learn more at www.motionindexdrives.com. Hoosier Feeder Company has built a vibratory bowl that feeds plastic caps in two sizes. The 21-inch bowl supplies 30 caps per minute. The caps are output in a vertical hanging position. Engineers used an open slot on the cap for orientation. An external hopper keeps the bowl supplied with just the right amount of caps. Engineers can quickly switch from feeding one cap to another. The Zimmer Group has designed a custom gripper that enables one robot to handle both a crankshaft and an engine block. The crankshaft weighs 264 pounds, while the engine block weighs 1,100 pounds. The block arrives at the station upside down. The robot flips it over and then inserts the crankshaft. Designed to minimize weight without compromising performance, the gripper features a one-sided stroke. Locking and clamping mechanisms ensure the load stays put in case of a power failure. Researchers at the Technical University of Munich have developed a robot that can make its way through a crowd safely and without hesitation. A computer predicts the movement of nearby people and how they are likely to react. From this, it calculates the fastest route to its destination. Similar algorithms could someday be used for humanoid robots or autonomous vehicles to enable them to safely interact with people. The robot uses LiDAR to create a 360-degree map of its environment with a special emphasis on people. Sensors measure the robot's speed and how far it has traveled. A computer processes this information, calculates how far people will move in the next two seconds, and plans the best route to avoid them. And now for today's top story. Mercedes-Benz has been employing industrial robots since the 1970s to perform monotonous and physically demanding tasks. Now the luxury automaker is testing humanoid robots in production with an initial focus on repetitive tasks in intralogistics. Here to tell us more is Chief Editor John Sprovieri. Thanks, Jennifer. Last year, Mercedes invested several million euros in Aptronic, inventor of the Apollo humanoid robot. Aptronic was founded in 2016 at the Human Centered Robotics Lab at the University of Texas at Austin. Apollo has a form factor that roughly matches the size of a person. It's 5 foot 8 inches tall, weighs 160 pounds, and can lift 55 pounds. It is designed to operate in industrial spaces alongside people. Like Cobots, Apollo has a unique force-controlled architecture that enables it to operate safely around people. Aptronic wants the robot to be like the iPhone, user-friendly hardware that comes with some pre-built applications, but that also accommodates applications developed by third parties. Apollo's computing power makes it possible for AI companies to solve use cases outside the ones for which the robot was originally designed. For example, in December, Aptronic announced that it had partnered with Google DeepMind to develop artificial intelligence software for Apollo. Mercedes is testing the Apollo robots at its assembly plants in Berlin, Germany and Kecskemet, Hungary and the automaker plans to bring them to other factories in the near future. 
Mercedes employees with production know-how have transferred their knowledge to Apollo through teleoperation and augmented reality. The goal is to have the robot repeat their tasks autonomously. For now, Apollo is being used to transport components or modules to the assembly line. It can also carry out initial quality checks of components. Mercedes would like humanoid robots to take on monotonous tasks so that people can concentrate on highly skilled jobs. Back to you, Jennifer. Thanks, John. And finally, imagine teaching a robot to maneuver in an environment without ever letting it see the real world. That's what researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have done. Engineers combined generative AI with physics simulators to enable a quadruped robot to learn from synthetic data rather than real-world experience. Robots trained using machine-generated environments succeeded 88% of the time, while those taught by people managed only 15%. The goal is to help robots adapt more quickly to new tasks and environments. That will be important for applications such as search and rescue. That's all for this edition of Assembly News Now. For all the latest news on assembly technology, visit assemblymag.com and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching and tune in next time for another installment of Assembly News Now.